Before you watch this video, subscribe now. Hello and welcome. Before you start watching this video, please hit like, the notification bell, and subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep you updated. Alright, this video will direct you to the conversion itself. The removal of the gauge from the dashboard is not included in this video. If you want to watch the steps on how to remove the gauge from the dashboard, click the link below the description to watch that video. It tackles the disassembly from the vehicle and replacement of the original light bulbs. Here I bought an LED strip light from an online shopping site. It cost 226 pesos. The packaging is good and sealed properly. This is a 5 meter length strip light and can be used in anything like house decoration and etc. This is a 12 volt LED which needs a converter if you will use it in your house. Cars have 12 volts power supply and this is what we need to convert our gauge lights. The strip light provides adhesive tapes for easy mounting. Here is a closer view of the specification of the strip lights. Before anything else, I decided to test it on my car's 12 volt battery to see if it works. Just tap the positive wire to positive and negative to negative. The brightness is excellent. This will give our gauge a great lightning. Here are the lines where you can cut it. The polarity sign is also provided for easier wiring installation. Here's how the adhesive looks like when peeled. Time to dismantle the gauge. Remove every bulb on the brown solid. Reinstall the socket since you will use it later. There are 6 bulbs to remove. Next, remove the trip button and push the 6 clips that holds the bezel. You can use a flathead screwdriver to hasten the process. After taking the gauge bezel out, remove all screws that holds the cluster. The speedometer and tachometer have silver screws, while the fuel and temperature gauge have bronze screws. Each face has 3 screws, except for the fuel and temperature gauge which has 6 screws. Carefully pull it away. This is how the speedometer looks like. The temperature and fuel gauge has coils inside. Be careful not to push it, cut it, or else it won't work anymore. Before putting LEDs onto the housing, I decided to clean it to make sure that the adhesive will stick. I will put the strip light where the numbers are located. For the fuel and temperature gauge, I will put it in the middle. 
I tried to make a small orientation on how the strip lights will be placed. Time to cut the wires. You can use a knife to splice a wire or a scissor which works well for me. Just gradually slice it and when you feel the wires inside, rotate it and cut it again. When you slice it around, push the insulation away. That's how you do it. The wires are rooted in this section. Heat up your soldering rod and solder it. To make life easier, put a cardboard and tape the strip light. It will act as an holder so you can solder easily. Just solder a small amount of lead onto the mounting point. Do the same thing on your wires and connect them. Add some lead if necessary. Peel the tape and put the strip light onto the housing. This is a bit tricky to do, so be patient. This will be my setup for the tachometer. Peel the next one for the speedometer. Since I will put the strip light in the middle of the fuel and temperature gauge, I will fold the strip light and put some support. This is how the strip light will be used. I will put some double sided tape to support it. Make sure all lights are on the same level. Put some electrical tape to secure it. The wires will be tapped under the socket. One thing to consider is that this face has a small reflector, which is located in this spot. So I'll put a small strip light to illuminate the area. I also put some double sided tape to support it. There are areas that has gaps. In order to make it secure, I will put some double sided tape. This will act as a filler. I saw a problem with the fitment of the speedometer strip button. I need to bend the wires and angle the strip light so it won't block the trip button. This is how the setup looks like. The bars of the strip light for the speedometer will go in this direction which leads to a rectangular hole. I tested the lights and it was awesome. But looking closely, there are some concentrated spots. Therefore, we need to reduce some lights in order to balance the brightness. The strip lights needs to be pulled a bit to spread a better lightning. I will also need to change the direction of the wiring to remove the bright spot. So I changed the setup and this is how it should be. That is a temporary setting of the wiring. 
Here is a closer view on where the wires passes. For the tachometer, the bright spots are 0, 4, and 8. I will put electrical tape to block those LEDs that directly illuminates those numbers. The electrical tape tends to fall off, so I support it using an ordinary tape. When you touch the face, it leaves an oil mark. You can clean the face with a damp microfiber cloth. And there you have a clean face. Do the same thing for the others. You can also clean the underneath of the face. Here's the final setup of the strip lights. Time to reassemble everything back together. I'm gonna solder the wires to make a strong connection. Instead of using electrical tapes, I will use a heat shrink tube. You can buy this at any hardware or electrical store. When you put the heat shrink, just lightly rub it with a soldering rod. You will notice that the tube will slowly shrink due to the heat. You can also use a lighter or a candle in this process. Now that everything is done, one final cleaning to the gauge faces and bezel. There are areas that are hard to reach. You can use a fork to push the microfiber cloth to clean those areas. Do not leave any open spots at the back of the gauge. Reinstall the brown sockets to cover the open spots. This is my final setup of the wire rings. This is how it illuminates now. It is a lot better than the previous setup which has concentrated bright spots. It also looks better than the original yellowish lights. Now that is done, I will be making another tutorial video about converting your climate control with LED strip light. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching and God bless.